Good evening and night, everyone. It's the last day of Halloween. So we're going to play the entire Faith series. <laughs> but yeah, I saw a star far from heaven, and to him was given the key of a bottomless pit. You're probably gonna get over there this first an hour or two and then September 21st 1987 It's been one year since I first went inside that house I have to finish what I started What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican Apparently you could use a controller, but I have not figured out how to, <clears throat> to move. Use WS Animal. Yeah. Yeah, I can't use the controller for some reason. Lord. Face demons and cast them out with the space key. Right? So space is the key button. That's that's it. Okay. Easy controls. Let's start with chapter one. Chapters in one session. Nah, no. Since we're gonna split this up into three, if I can get all the endings. Twenty notes. Flashlight mode. Lantern. Turbo. Kind of weird you have to hit that twice. We're so slow. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Uh, 
Excuse me. Oh. Oops, still not. All right, let's let's try to do this. I'm slow. Excuse me? Oh, okay. Touch for the very first time. 99 more to go! Thank God we're still at the beginning. We did nothing. <laughs> What's that water at? What does yeah? I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while, while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't seem right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of the storage. You're just everywhere, aren't you? You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Uh, turn right. Pass the well. We're at the well. Is that a building? Public Lecture by Carl James Oswald. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Beast system. Beast system? What? The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Albert, Albert um, seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Sarah so Alder explained that he would rather perform the exorcism right from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present 
makes it difficult to perceive what elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. So that we have a key. We have a key. Fuck it all. What's this? Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year in here <laughs> at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out there with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just the day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. I might be lost. I might actually be lost. The map does not have a thing. Mr. Martin has taken longer than I expected. Registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who, was, identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that can, we cannot identify. It's the, the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All of the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. What you're saying. The trade. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree it looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off and it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. 
She was totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at, at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me. There's the hound, there's, there's that. Okay. That's the well. Found the well. The right of the okay. So we went straight on. Oh, so I kept going back and forth, and apparently it all just keeps changing. I gotta go all of them again, did don't I? Yeah, I have to go by them. So I have to grab it's annoying. Go away. My goodness, where is it? What was that? <laughs> Two children running towards something. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front, at the French porch. Porch. Miss Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt, I felt for him. 
There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic, in the chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It was hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Now we're getting more of the puzzle. Looks like. Well, of course, let's go find it outside and find the rest of it. Yeah. Are we missing? Are we free? Um, six. Nine. Mm -hmm. You're done! Stop doing that! My god! You know what? No. I got a better idea. Let's see if we can go complete the game and get turbo mode on my heart. Okay, thank you. You just put me in where I needed to be. I never... <laughs> I didn't expect this game to be that creepy. More, like, jump scary. <clears throat> Hold on a sec. <clears throat> TV. I see you. That was the first floor. Is this the basement? Oh, wait. You know what? When you really look at this, I kind of don't like this. When you're actually playing it, I think it's just the fact that there's a music. I was expected to shoot. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. I really brighten my, brighten my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. <laughs> the where the area we are working in has a lot of a lot of folks who practice who and Baba? It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. 
one of the saints they worship is Saint uh, or Saint Deb. Yesterday we talked to a boy about fifteen. When <clears throat> when we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no. But I have. I have prayed to Sam. He told us about the time a time when he stayed over at a cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed for some figures, and then the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, lady. Huh. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the bright for long. Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. I asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen, screaming mother, mother the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. So I went down to check on things. I found Father Oliver laying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, great. That's going to be bad, ain't it? Where are we? Oh, here she comes. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, when I got up there, it was freezing cold. Amy standing in the back. She straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's name, first name. In other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. When I raised my crucifix again and began to write. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Angie Annis about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. That's racist. Uh, Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would have rather had a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Hmm. That's just terrible. Oh, it's going to be a long night. Get these again. Simon says. Huh. So 
tomorrow. Wait, down there, corner. I This is the twins' bedroom. Oh, come on, game. There's supposed to be a way you can tell which one to go after. Why is it going? I think it's the first one that blows. Is that a rubber ducky? Failed me. Did you? Up slow. <laughs> Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me. From me. First, a year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Mark. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She's, she, my superior, father, with. When I confronted her, she managed to cut power to the house and my current parents with her own hand. Kill our prone parents in her hands. I have to go back to the house. The nightmare I'm having is real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, I know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Yes. She's my priest. Be gone. Who the? Run away. Oh. Oh, because I don't think I've resolved the issue of what's in me. Yep.
I have to go resolve an issue. I don't remember from watching. It's like I said, it's so different when you're actually playing the game. Maybe not. Oh. Going back up very slowly. Good, but slower. My God, what happened to you? Oh, I have to watch this. Oh, boy. I have to finish what I started. You died, priest. No. No. Oh. Here we go. This is so. When you're, like I said, I said it before, when you're actually playing it, it's like a different, it's completely different than watching it. This is something you have to experience, and I'm glad you kind of are. Well, at least I am. This would be so much easier if I could use the controller. But. My controller won't work with this game for some reason. It's a PS4 controller. Just stay in the center.
Uh. Okay. Okay. See, she stays within the, um, the pentagram. So. So, we might wanna. Oh, excuse me. Oh, unless I touch one of the things. Okay. I really wish I could use the controller. I stuff is rough with a keyboard. But hey, I need a hundred deaths, so. Yeah, there's a whole entire achievement where you can... Okay. Boy. <clears throat> Camera controller now. Thank you. Excuse me? Mm -mm. I thought she was gonna just go around three times. Two. Three. And you're supposed... I think there's an achievement where you have to do this without getting killed and it's like... Yeah, that's not happening. Hmm. <clears throat> no. I got greedy. I, I know where she's going to be, so I don't know. Mm. Mm. Hmm. All right, she's going back to her normal pattern. All right. It's just trial and error. That's all I want to ask. Okay. 
the first time, the last time. Yeah. That just kind of happened. Where's my car at? Game over. Murderer. Ah, oh, police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of the star of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of uh, Palomaria was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious. After being pulled over, when quiet, when questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Starling Police Headquarters. For further questioning, Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now abandoned morning home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of a second-story window. Of the house, an officer who recovered a body told reports reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal ma brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust. After Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister, the rest of the ministry. Article is missing. Okay. Six notes of sixteen. Six.
Wait, I have... So I'm missing... 9... 13... 19 and 20. I have an idea. A dog with one bullet. Yeah, we know. With one bullet. Bullet. So that was a thing. with one bullet. Let's try that again. Shattered Quake. October 23rd, 19, 1986. Dear Dr. McLeishen, it has been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinnell, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinnell's help, I have com come to accept what really happened in September at the Martins family residence. I accept that what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate actions of a young girl driven to violence by her do dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased, and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since the incident. Given my process since first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute, contingent upon follow up appointments with Dr. Spinnell in the future. Sincerely, John Ward.
so yeah. So he lied. He mainly lied to get out of. No, that's the twenty. That's still the nineteen. That means number nineteen is around here. I want to come down here. What if they just left? A dog with one bullet. It's okay. A dog with one bullet. What if they just just went home? Wow. <laughs> I will say of my lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, oh, therefore boy. will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. When faith and don't. Starling Police Department is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Mellow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they apparently were to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of fact, as a matter of public fa fa safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Starling Police spokesman. 
This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it, if it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the the rickets. A vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. New effect unlocked. So what else can I do? Well, let me see if I can find the other notes. Because we're missing... Oh, okay. Right, so we have to start over over to get certain notes. Well, first I'm gonna get my other endings, and then we'll see it. we'll do a note then. So we. I gotta go find some things. That was a road. Pretend you didn't see that. Just scan. A dog with one bullet.
है so now we're messing with mother nature <laughs> when we did that I will send a flower he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him I will trust I shall not be afraid of the terror should be afraid of the terror of Mother Nature. The Hunter. <laughs> the site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not been <clears throat> identified at 6 a.m. this morning. A resident called to report an accident along the Snake, um, the Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan was swerved off the road and struck a tree. <clears throat> a spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragging, dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the one front windshield. It noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. The investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of the cleaned what parts of a cleaned white tailed deer are found in the trunk of the car. From a white tailed deer, the hunter will a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Mm. Mm. I didn't get anything for that one. September 21st, 1987. Uh, it's been mm. one year since I... Let's see if we can bring this up by... Yeah, I don't have turbo, man. I can't. You need all the endings in a chapter to go through with get turbo mode. So what other enders are there? Um, I have to find... Oh, I know one of them. I can find it. There it is. So 
we might have started the apocalypse. And the offering. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult. And you are able to handle your own life. Do not let your mother and dad, your mom and dad, stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We shall consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there, Gary. One more. It's an odd one, too. Um. <clears throat> A dog with one bullet. Find the cabin. That's not the cabin. I mean, not the cabin. The um, the storage place. Well, it is a cabin actually. There you are. that all because he moved <laughs> I hate I hate the silence that's the part of this game that makes me uncomfortable just no music no no sounds or anything just that makes me uncomfortable I do wonder what did I shoot me in? I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh, son. Esteemed Cardinal Before. With all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help more than ever. In the past weeks, in the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. I must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a crucial time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it just causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistakes. What I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. New chapter mode unlocked. Oh. That's, that's Trinity mode, I mean, um, turbo mode. Darkness surrounds. Alright, let's go. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Sonic fast. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is how this game needs to be played. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so anyway, that was the thing. Oh, come on, I was trying to hit the... <laughs> I was trying to hit that. Okay. That helps me a lot. Now we can use the list. Come on. You're right, I don't. Nope. Come on. One of the notes you have to actually, like, constantly deal with, um, telling, like, making that thing go away. Wow. It goes so fast. The only problem is you never know where he's going to come from. But I like the speed. Oh. You start appearing when I go to a certain point. Your trigger. Are you? I thought I was aimed. Come on. That's the annoying part too, is um he can be in this see, he'll appear he can appear at the same screen as you. Well, at least I'm racking up them kills. This might go, be going a little too fast. Because, like I said, I need to ward him up. Like, turn him away enough times and then he'll drop the note.
Thing is, I don't know how many times I have to do it, but I can still have a problem. Oh boy, it's gonna be that one of them moments. Man. Man, by the time we get to the second chapter, I'll probably have the doubts. I don't think so. I was kind of hoping that only we would be the fast ones, not the whole game itself. Like I said, until I until he drops the butt the note, I I have to come dealing with this. Alright, that's it. I, I want to know keep saying a number of times I I need a definitive number like, do I do it five times? Do I do it ten? Two. Yeah, I can barely get through. I can barely do three. I can't do it at this speed. At least we're learning about the game. Maybe I can do it at two times the speed. That's... I mean, it's well... Less fast, but oh yeah, I can do that speed. Where 
Oh, come on! God, this is just... He's getting faster. Oh, come on. I hate this. I do not like this one. Get out of here. Oh, 
Ich habe auch noch Geld da. So it's official. I can't do it at this speed either. Let release. Oh, I didn't want to put out. Well, that's sad. This is. I can't get it. From the same city file. Yeah, I can't get the. I can't get note, note 19 unless I can get 9 from that. So I have to play this game in normal mode, in normal speed again. Collect all notes. Wow. Finish marathon mode. Good endings only. Without dying once. So, finish chapter one in last flashlight mode. Finish one in lantern mode. Can... Do I have to do that? Actually, you know what? I just want to see. Oh! Oh no! So how how bad does it get? I wonder. Oh, that's a lot of... It's 
flight. Let me see this. Do you need the key? Let's turn. Wow, I thought he left after killing me. Okay, that's annoying. That's that's super annoying. Oh, this one. Oh, wow, it does. Dog, oh, come on. Yeah, I have I have to fight against the tide. Apparently he's got the body of a pig. Um keep that in mind. Got it, saved. We are.
Yeah. You don't say. Yeah, I remember now. I have to find server in every room. This could be a little rougher than I thought. Yeah, you... You kind of can't do this. Uh, I don't... I cannot do that on, um... I still want, I want to get the final notes because then I can do the truth. And we'll have it all. Alright, let me take a break and then I'll come back and do this.